In today's book club, we have legendary former New York police officer and detective, I believe, Bill Stanton, who went on to become an internationally celebrated private investigator. There he is. I remember, I remember this in New York Magazine. I do, too. And look at those arms. Look at those guns. See, he's still got the guns. Still fits. And, and, and he also does security work as well. All right. Well, now he's in something of a new business, uh, the book writing business. He is out with a novel. It's called Badge of Evil, uh, and he had a little help from noted journalist Craig Horowitz. Welcome to you both. Nice to see you. Nice Thank to you. see you, too. Can I correct the little help piece? <laughs> what do you got? <laughs> I want, you might want to adjust who helped who here with this. <laughs> you helped him, or he helped you? It's it's Something like that. Well, 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 Your name comes first. <laughs> there you go. Well, okay. Craig is a former writer for New York Magazine, Correct. right? Yes. So, I mean, that's your business. That's my business. And this is the first time you ventured out and did your own book, right? Yes. You know, he he was the journalist who put me on the cover of New York Magazine. That was oh. when our that was when our career in fiction maybe began. Some people would you say. <laughs> and 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 I said, why don't we combine our life experience? You know, you as this you know ultra left guy, liberal guy, journalist, and me is this Puerto Rican Polish private eye in the Bronx and let's see where we could take this adventure and a lot of the places you know like frescoes and places like that that we go to you know actually exist in the book I like actually, that, Bill what happened, actually what happened is when we first met I was working on a story back in it's 18 years ago actually this summer the city was sort of captivated by the Abner Wawima Yes. Case, and I was working on a piece about police brutality, and I was trying to get some information from the cops' side, right, to get the cops to talk about what life is actually like on the street. So John Miller, right, former DCPI, right. Yeah. Right. yeah, DCPI network guy, currently back at the NYP, John Miller introduced the two of us and said, I want you to talk to this retired cop because he could provide some really incisive inside look at what police brutality is all about. Okay, so what's this book about? <laughs> <laughs> this is this this is a book about the inside it's inside baseball of New York City and a lot of the characters exist it's an amalgam of characters that we've come across many of the scenes in this book actually take place the car chases the fight scenes many of these things actually happened so when we have a car chase scene in the Brooklyn we actually drove that route okay. so what so what the book is about Greg to answer your question Thanks. is sure <laughs> yeah we get along You're being schooled. <laughs> yeah it's, as always it's international terror Terrorism, homegrown terrorism, a corrupt, out of control police commissioner. Uh, we have rap stars, drug dealers, and at sort of the heart of this is a really remarkable, unexpected, unusual relationship between a journalist and a private investigator who can't stand one of one another originally which is based on on truth but come, <laughs> it's a novel but come together and it has all of the insights of my having covered four police commissioners three mayors all of his experiences as a private investigator so it's also kind of a look inside the corridors of power I love it I'm kind of fa fascinated about being a private investigator yeah we thought it would be nice if Bill could teach us some techniques and tactics that PIs use PIs right yeah. they now, still this, say this that. is our secret yes what do you both well, you know, we got some go undercover. We got some witnesses here. Do, first of all, <laughs> do they still wear the, the, the Sherlock Holmes uh, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, you know, to blend in. To see, blend in. We decided we were gonna go follow Mike Woods and see where he went. You know that Mike Woods, he's a shady guy. Yeah, character. well there were, there was there's rumors he was stealing people's lunches. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, basically you uh, hide behind pillars, it looks like. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So pillars you, of good. Would you normally do something like that? Oh absolutely, we do this every day. Well, this is all, this is very cute. I think Mike knows he's being watched. <laughs> but how do you follow somebody who does not, um, let's say, you know, does not want to be observed? Well, the, the way you do it is you hide in plain sight. You, you don't act like you're following someone. You just go through every day, you know, uh, overtures. So, like, while I'm on that cell phone, I'm not talking to someone that I want to meet for lunch. I'm talking to the three other investigators that we're tailing, you know, and we have different types of dress. We'll have a jacket in the car, and we'll be able and to clear, adapt clearly any place they go. Clearly, he blends in easily. He doesn't look like <laughs> anybody else, so. It's true, though. I can see you blending in. You know, you look like you're a New Yorker. That's right. You know what I mean? That's right, and, and it, it is amazing. I actually had a case where where we went to Fresco's, That's where I had to go undercover. And you did? Yes, yes, yes. And I, I was undercover with someone, and I didn't know where to take him. I had to call an audible. And, and, an and audible? Your, your brother comes over, and I'm like, I go in his ear. I'm undercover. I'm undercover. You, you just know me. Don't say anything, right? And they put me in the corner, and it worked perfect. Oh, now, you're kidding yeah, me. Yeah, you can, I had no idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you say now what you were I observing? I expect the bill by. <laughs> who, who were you following and why? Or maybe leave can the names out, but why, why would 
you'd be following somebody well generally it, it, it ranges from corporate espionage to you know high-end I worked for some of the biggest most celebrated attorneys in the city you know I don't know if you know Joe Tacopino or Marilyn Chin it's they're like the both the top of what they do and they put me in there and we get it done Wow. Pretty in interesting stuff. I All know. right. Bill Stanton, uh, the book written by Craig Horowitz with an assist from Bill Stanton. <laughs> One more time. Badge of Evil. What about making this thing into a movie? Well, we're talking about it now. Really? This yeah, is already interesting. People's yes. TV series, if you look at some of the names on the back, they're already called. Oh, yeah. yeah Sylvester, 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 Sylvester Stallone. I yeah. can see that. Wow. Nelson. Stephen Lang. Yeah. He was yeah. in uh, right. the Avatar. 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 Yeah. Avatar. Here's your book signing. Let's put it up there. Uh, Warren Street. Uh, what neighborhood? Is it Lower East Side? Where is that? Uh, Tribeca. Tribeca. Yeah, it's called Mysterious oh, yeah. Bookshop tonight, 630. Yes. Are you going to be reading excerpts from Yeah, the and the we folks are. could take a picture with me and Craig can hold the camera. <laughs> you know. These guys are, you can tell, they're, they're somewhat like us, I think. Good right. partnership. Good luck. Thank uh, you, guys. Congratulations. Thanks, really, really appreciate nice it. Thank you. Trick